Hello, and welcome to AIM International's preparatory tutorials for the Information Certification Exam. I'm Steve Weissman, Principal Consultant at Holly Group and a certified AIM training instructor in the realm of content, process, and information management. I'll be your guide as we review the exam's major domains of expertise, and I'll tell you all you need to know to earn that passing grade. Today's subject is security a key part of this special certification which AIM created to support you as you solve your organization's existing information related problems and plan for its future. For 60 years AIM has been the leading nonprofit association helping users understand how to best manage documents, content, records, and business processes. This module is part of the Secure and Preserve Knowledge Domain, one of six within the certification program. In it, we'll explore basic security concepts and principles including information classification schemas, encryption technology, and redaction. A classification schema arranges or divides objects into groups based on characteristics that the objects have in common. This allows users to find an object more quickly than if it had been left in an undifferentiated mass, makes it easier to detect duplicate objects, and conveys meanings that may not be conveyed by the object's name or its spelling. A well-considered schema is valuable in a security context because it allows groups of objects to be managed and secured as a unit rather than as individual elements, a much more efficient way to go. Encryption refers to the coding of sensitive data to protect it while stored or traveling over a network. Credit card numbers, banking information, and system passwords are but a few examples of data that's commonly encrypted, but really any information in any file or any directory can be as well. There are two major types of algorithms used in encryption implementations, symmetric and asymmetric. In symmetric encryption, data is scrambled using one key on the transmitter and unscrambled with the same key on the receiver. Thus, the two keys have to be the same for the data to be readable. Asymmetric encryption, on the other hand, uses two different keys at both ends. One's called a public key and the other is called a private key. Public key must be known to everyone who wants to communicate with the person owning that key, but the private key must not be known for the encryption to be successful. Redaction involves expunging confidential, personal, and otherwise sensitive data from documents before the release to readers. A common method of redacting an image document is to manually overlay a black layer on the sensitive portion and then burn the redaction into the image by recasting it in a flattened TIFF or other image format. Not recasting it means the redactions could be lifted using imaging tools. The redaction process need not be manual, as it can be intelligently programmed and automated to eliminate sensitive data from predetermined categories of documents. Today's heightened awareness of the legal implications of exposing information is leading some companies, particularly law firms, to automatically remove sensitive material from all email messages before sending them. By now it must be clear that there are many ways to apply security to information and information systems, some heavier duty than others, but all effective if properly deployed. And that's the key, isn't it? Properly deploying them so they meet the needs of your particular situation. By way of review, what we covered here were these important basic security-related concepts, information classification schemas, encryption technology, and redaction. With this as background, you may now wish to review the module covering different types of security and their relationship to risk management and regulatory drivers. The material you have just reviewed is part of a broader program of study that prepares you to take the information certification exam. This proctored test consists of 100 multiple choice questions and is delivered electronically by Prometric. You'll have two hours to complete it, and upon passing, you'll earn a professional certification that's valid for three years. For more information, please visit www.aim.org slash certification. Thank you.